This is before I got my nails done, when I come in the house. No, it was when I come back. I go get my nails done. I broke my nail. So I go get my nails done, me and my little sister. And I went to go have dinner at Crustaceans. It's just us. The, how do you call them? The, the talent directors or whoever, you know, the assistants and stuff like that. They followed me around from the nail salon. It's like, that shit was so funny. Me and Sachi laughing. Because we see, Sachi goes to the uh, gas station. So she come back in the nail shop. She like, these people following me. I think I even got a video. I recorded them. Like a lot of shit that was happening, I recorded it myself. So I could go, and I'm going to show y'all too. I'm going to post it. So we get it followed by the show people. So they at the gas station. Sachi sees Claire. She ducked down in the seat. Like they hiding. Because they just like, she like, damn, that's them. Why are they following us? I told them like, give me some space. Leave me alone right now. Mind you, I've been on the road with these girls for what? two months, a month, whatever, we, we stop for the holidays, I'm aggravated, I'm just like, ugh, it's just, at this point, I'm ready to go the fuck home, it's the holidays, I'm ready to be with my family, then we get back to San Francisco, and it's been a whole lot of, oh, this gonna happen, that's gonna happen, that's gonna happen, all of that shit, mind you, I'm frequent in the Bay, San Francisco, all of that, like, Phil Mo, my best friend is LaRon Mayfield, his aunt is the mayor, so like I'm always out there scared to go there. Who? Why? For what reason? What would be the reason I would be scared to go there? There's no reason. So anyway, Ron wasn't in town. So of course he gonna call me when I get to the city. I've been booked out there every year since what, 2015. So he like, he not there, but they wanna fuck with me. You know the city wanna fuck with you. They wanna come out and support. So we got a sprinter, and I'm like, cool, let him come out and support. I say, I'm not staying over at the um, house after we get back from Crustacean. It's just me and my little sister kicking it. And, and the, uh, the trailers, the, the, the people following us and shit from the show. But, you know, we don't pay them no mind. We just laughing. Like, that's crazy. Why y'all following us? What y'all think we finna do? But anyway, we leave Crustacean. I go back to the house with my, all my shit, my expensive luggage, bags, clothes, all that. It's parked at the door. When I walk in this house, the door wide open. It's people going in and out the house. I don't fuck with that. Like, put my stuff up, put it in the closet. And here's the thing. They say, oh, the bags, this after, I spaz out. Because, of course, I'm mad about my bags being at the door. And the door wide open. And it's all this traffic in and out. So, I'm like, yo, what's up with my bags? Let me holler at old girl. They won't want me to come upstairs. They're making everything seem like so dramatic, so it's pissing me off. Then one of them pushed my little sister. So none of that's going to be showed. Of course, they want to make it like Tommy is an animal and she's just going crazy for nothing. Or I'm scared. That's the other word they like to use. So I'm just like, bitch, if anybody bags was at this door, y'all finna be mad. Y'all don't want me to go upstairs, but y'all got the cameras all out. You don't want me to have a conversation. And obviously, somebody's scared and it ain't me. It's somebody who's telling y'all y'all want me to come upstairs, so it don't make no sense. Anyway, so they don't want me to go upstairs, that's cool. Just give me my shit, let me make sure all my shit is here. Because this is why I'm mad, right? And I'm, I go get me a room. So, go on and go get the room. Of course, Ron, he give me a sprinter. We good. All the people that I say, okay, they cool, they could come fuck with me. I'm going to bring them in the club, all the shit. It's a vibe. Grown people. Like, ain't nobody on no bullshit. Me, I'm not finna put none of my family members or nobody in no, no, no bullshit where I feel like they're gonna get hurt or something gonna happen to them and it's gonna be on my face. So, of course, we never on no bullshit. I already know how this show go. It's entertainment for me. So, I don't even look like it's gonna be anything. Like, I hear what y'all saying, but y'all been saying it this whole trip. And we done stayed in the same house. Your room literally, like, right down the hall. If it wasn't that much pressure when we in every other city, why would it be that much pressure here? Unless you pussy and you feel like your family here, so you feel like you want to flex now. Like, I don't get it. We've been in every room. And let's get to the Biggie part. Like, I fuck with Biggie. I feel like it's, it's a drag to keep on acting like this girl is my lap dog or she's like some peasant trying to like, oh my God, fanned out type shit. It was given none of that. Like every day I would chop it with this girl. She would come to my room. Um, she would take my videos for my promo, my other job, other shit I gotta do work while I'm on the road. So yeah, I fuck with her. And if somebody's speaking on me and I'm not in the room, 
I will hope a motherfucker gonna stand up in my defense. I don't know what the conversation was, but that's not being a lap dog. Like, if you have any real friends, they should do the same for you. Like, why we even speaking on her? Really, I would cut the conversation if it was me and her shoes. Somebody said if it was her and her shoes, she wouldn't have did that. No, I probably wouldn't have. I probably would have ended the whole conversation and said some shit like, why we speaking on somebody that ain't here? Had a conversation when she in front of y'all. The same way I did Krishan when Natalie wasn't on the bus. And I say, y'all need to talk and stop talking to everybody else. That's how I move. So it probably wouldn't have went exactly the same way, but we the same results. Shut the fuck up if that person not here. Anyway, that shit is corny. Let's stop all that. Like, that's a grown woman. She got her own shit going on. She came on there with her own shit going on. She don't need to be my lap dog. I don't need no help or no assistance on anything.